What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test five more egg gadgets. Let's see what I got this time. For this gadget I got here egg green molds. Let's see if this one's actually work. There's so many of them and a lot of them don't work. So it's going to go like that. Gonna spray a little bit of oil on them so the egg don't stick and then I'm going to preheat it just a little bit and then we're going to crack an egg inside of it. Okay, one. Let's see if second one don't spill. I did see it spill a little bit, came off from the side, but I kind of hit the handle a little bit. So, two, without hitting the handle. Wow, perfect. A little bit came off on this side, but for the most part, it did held it together. How cool is that? So now you can put it perfectly on a muffin or the circle of breads. And now you have egg sandwich at home. Easy. Okay, let's see what it looks like. As you can see, I lift it up. Easy. Nice. Ooh, those things are hot a little bit and kind of burned it a little bit but at the same time it worked really good perfect eggs you know what a lot of the serene egg molds don't work i really like this ones a lot what happens when you're trying to boil eggs usually i would get water to a boil and then i would time my eggs how long i want to boil them so that way i get medium soft or hard but when i'm going to drop an egg in a boiling water a lot of times they will crack like you see that one have just cracked there a little bit of a white egg came out even with a spoon if you try to lay it down sometimes they crack anyways well guess what they have a gadget for that this is all tongs or like egg tongs you see the picture right here you don't even have to place them in there you can actually hold them like that and not put them all the way to the bottom either. So grab an egg, stick it like that, and we will hold it really, really well. Put it in. Just press it like that, put your egg in, and you can lay it down, press it, and that way they will not break. How cool is that? Another egg, grab it, hold it, boil it like that if you wish so, or put it all the way down and let go. Really, really cool gadget. I like this a lot. I probably would just use it to lay them down. Also, for Easter egg, whenever you want to paint the eggs, that could be really, really useful as well. Also, I wanted to compare these egg tones to the other ones. Whoa, that holds it really well as well. Let go. It opens up really well. Oops. Boom. I kind of like this one even more. A little bit more comfortable don't have to press it as hard but you cannot hang in them there but that's not what I need it for so you know what I might go with this egg gadget can grab it like that too I guess you can use any tones this ones are just have more power so they won't slip out on you because it slides in so well look at that so satisfying to grab an egg like that Boom. You boil in an egg, you need a timer. I got a timer right here. So also, this is a timer and piercer. Why do you want to pierce your egg? Because when you boil an egg, sometimes it's hard to peel it. Well, this way, if you pierce it, it's supposed to make it a lot easier to boil the egg. Let's try it out. Looks really cool. This is luck. As soon as you press it here, it unlocks the needle. Do not press it with your finger or you poke yourself. Soft, medium, hard. So I'm gonna put medium, J, XL, L, medium. I guess this is a type of eggs that you have. I think I have medium eggs. And so what you would do is grab an egg and just poke it like that. Oops, I pressed it right here, so it's set the timer. But as you can see, they made a little hole inside here. That's it. Now I'm going to grab the egg tone, place it in there. And we're going to see if this egg will peel much, much better because it has a hole. And timer is ready to go. It came with the batteries. Amazing. 
I set it on a medium. Hopefully it will beep. I think the bars are going and letting you know when it's about to be done. So it's like kind of filling up the bars. What a cool egg timer. Definitely futuristic. Look at that. This is the best. So I did fill up with the bars and then start beeping. Turned it off. Beautiful. This is my favorite. Lock it so the needle doesn't poke you. Now take the egg out. Look at that. It actually works this way too. Really good. Don't come off. Now I need to find the egg with the hole. So that way we can compare it. You see the water kind of change color? It's because this egg got cracked. Now the question is, is it actually going to be medium boiled egg and the pork in a hole actually going to help us peel an egg better? I run it in a cold water. It's still a warm egg, so not all the way. Whoa, no way, it actually helped so much. Check this out. It's falling off. Incredible. Wow, that whole puncher works really good. Now, is it medium boiled egg? Let's find out. Yes, I can see a little bit of soft inside of it. Perfect. So if you want it to be more runny, just set it up one notch down. The best egg timer ever. For the next gadget I got here, Yorkster Egg Poacher. Let's see what this thing is all about. There's a quick instruction, start boiling water, place the Yorkster inside of it towards in the water, but not all the way, just like this, and then put an egg in there. Just like in the picture, I'm gonna put, place it like that. Boom. Nice. Now I guess we wait several minutes and we're going to take it out and see what it looks like. Alexa, set timer for four minutes. Yep, right here it's... It says right here four minutes. Okay, now easy to take it out. I might overcook it a little bit. Make sure you drain it all the way. And how hard is it to take it out? Wow, nice, beautiful. And you got here poached egg. Okay, let's cut it too. That's actually cooked pretty good, still runny. This is nice. Very nice poacher, probably the best poached eggs I ever made. Very nice gadget. For the next gadget I got here, ultimate egg spatula. Check this out, with this stand, so whenever you lay it down, it won't touch the counter. Because it has a little stand right here, very nice. So pretty soft, but not too soft, much softer at this end. So that way it's supposed to be much easier to go under the egg and lift it up. Or make a bunch of scramble eggs too. My oven is burning, so let's make a couple of scramble eggs. So let's scramble it up. By the way, I put olive oil, that's why I have this weird color to the oil. But as you can see, this is nice, very, very comfortable. Grapes it all. Let me put a couple more eggs. No problem, as you can see, scrapes up really, really good. It's like a big knife, so it's a cap in it. Very, very comfortable. Also, you can use it for omelette and stuff like that. So we're going to put it to the test. Everything just like on these three pictures. First, they did scramble eggs. Works really, really good. Now, scrape everything up. You can even lift it up like that, put it on a plate. Probably way easier to just put it all like that with the scramble eggs. Okay, now let's make sunny side up eggs. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, let's try to pull it out. Look at that, that egg got bubble under the yolk. And check this out, how comfortable that is. Perfectly medium eggs right here. Whoops, uh, push it in a little bit better. Nice. I like it. That's very comfortable and that does not scrape the pen. Okay, and let's see how useful it's going to be to flip an omelette. 
Let's try to flip it or put it in half. Wow, I actually work really well. Check this out. This is amazing. And then I can just lift it up the whole thing too. This is very comfortable gadget for sure. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.